Hello, booktube. Okay, so, um, I'm not in my normal location, and the lighting's bad, and I look gross, but, like, it's fine. We're doing this. This is, like, my only chance to film this weekend, because I'm a busy gal, and it's Labor Day, and I'm on vacation. So, um, the books, okay, how many did I read? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I read eight books this month. Um, and I actually liked a lot of them, so that's good, because, like, the month before was kind of meh, but I felt a lot better. Also, I have to talk kind of quietly. Hopefully, I can turn the volume up, because, like, there's people in the house, and I don't want them to hear me. Nah. Okay. <laughs> Um, so first I read Never Let Me Go by Kazuo Ishiguro. Um, I will put a link to my review over there. Yeah, over there. Um, I know I do it wrong every time. Over there. Um, I did a full review of this and I had quite a lot of mixed feelings about it. I liked the writing and, um, I think the subject matter was interesting, but I think it was advertised to me in a different way than I, like, received it. Um, it felt very, like, I don't know, it just felt, like, dry and boring, which, like, I didn't expect because it's, like, sci-fi and usually it's more exciting and, like, kind of dystopian, which I, and I love the premise of it. Like, I think it's so interesting. I'm not going to say anything about it because I feel like if you are going to read it, go into it blind. But there are a lot of mixed reviews on Goodreads, too. Like, a lot of people are really, like, um, some people love it, some people hate it. I don't know. Um, I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. I just, like, meh. That was the feeling for me. Um, okay. After that, I read Hillbilly Elegy, which I also did a review of, so I'll put that there. Um, that I liked more. It's, um, it's a memoir. It's about, um, this hillbilly grows up in Appalachia, and it's just, like, his experience, and that was one of my summer reading books, and I've talked about it quite a few times, but, um, and I liked it generally. I have a lot of problems with it still, um, and as we've been talking about it in class, like, I don't know, it's really interesting what we're talking about, and we're talking about, like, the new aristocracy in America, and it's really, really interesting, and I got to see, like, where I fall on the political spectrum with this really cool website called My Political Compass, which, I guess if you want to do it, I'll put it down below. Um, it's really awesome. I highly recommend it. It's just like a multiple choice thing. And then like you answer a bunch of questions about your stance on politics and then you get, um, you, it plots you on a graph and you see like where you land politically and it'll put you with other politicians and stuff. So it's cool. Um, so I recommend that. But we've had some really interesting discussions about politics and about what it means to be a hillbilly, whether or not like J.D. Vance, after he made all this money from this book about being poor, like, is he still considered part of that community? And he, we watched this interview of him, and he totally looks like he's going to run for office. And so we were talking about, like, whether or not he can accurately represent that community, because now he's very successful, and he went to Yale, and he's, like, pretty privileged now. Um... So, it's just an interesting debate. Yeah, so after that, I read This One Summer, which is a graphic novel, which my best friend Yaya kindly gave to me, and she might watch this, so love you, babe. Um, and she also comments a lot of weird shit, so, like, if you're wondering who that is, it's my best friend. Um, yeah, This One Summer is, it's, uh, I would call it a coming-of-age story. It's about, um these two girls and they're living in this cabin over like the whole summer and this girl like goes out every summer and they know each other pretty well and it's just like them coping with like growing up but also like one of the girl's parents is like having serious marriage troubles right now um and I won't tell you why because you don't find out right away um and then, and the other girl, like, seems gay, but, like, they never really talk about it and stuff, but, and the art's really beautiful, and it's just, like, adorable and heartwarming, so I recommend that highly. That was probably, like, one of my favorites for this month, for sure. Um, okay, and then after that, I read The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, which I also have mixed feelings about, but I, honestly, after talking to a lot of people about it, I think it's because I read it on audiobook. Um, I don't love the audiobook performance of it, 
especially because the guy reads it and when he does women he like doesn't change his voice and it just it confuses me like and some people do really bad women's voices and I feel like he's one of them um and also, like, I don't know, is there a woman's voice? That's an interesting debate to get into, but that's not for now. Um, I, yeah, so that was kind of my issue with it. The audiobook wasn't great, and I kind of am thinking about reading it, but reading the physical copy of it, because everyone I've talked to loved it so, so much, so I feel like I kind of should. Um, yeah, and then... I do have the next two books in the series and there's more after because he died I guess and so in the middle of writing the series so then someone else picked it up but like I was talking to people and apparently like the rest of it by the other author is not good so I think if I do continue it I'm gonna read just this uh Stieg Larson's books so if you read it if you know about it like please let me know if you enjoy it because that will change my opinion of it um perhaps um okay next I read Perfidia by James Elroy I'm considering doing a review on this but I don't know I don't know if I want to because it's just such a big messy book and I don't know if I want to get back into it um it's I don't even know how to... Okay, so it starts on Pearl Harbor. It's a very, like, messy and convoluted storyline. Um, and it goes for, like, 15 days after Pearl Harbor. And it follows, like, an, a couple of LAPD officers and then, like, surrounding people that work with them or know these officers. And it switches perspectives a lot. And there are a lot of characters. And a lot of them are real people. There's, like, Betty Davis and Joan Crawford and, like, random people. From the 40s um so I I do recommend it if you like noir or like crime novels because like the nitty-gritty like feel of it is great like the tone is fantastic but I think I mean my English teacher was telling us that like James Elroy has written some really really great stuff but like Perfidia is not his best work which I don't know why he assigned this that one if he doesn't think it's the best I yeah so I'm thinking about maybe reading LA Confidential which is supposed to be better so yeah because I think his writing is really good and I like his style but this one just felt messy and there felt like too many characters and too many plot lines that never got tied up at the end which really bothered me as a reader so yeah next I read Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine which has been talked about a lot um I am probably going to do a full review of this. I have a lot of reviews I really want to do, but because I'm now only posting like pretty much once a week because it's as much time as I have, um, I can't do as many reviews, which kind of sucks. Um, so yeah, so Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine. I read because I joined a book club, which I'm super pumped about. I, um, yeah, my friend's mom like invited me to join, um, her book club because, I don't know, I've always wanted to be in one, but everyone is always way older than me, and I feel weird, like, asking to participate, so he, like, helped set it up, and now we're doing it, and I'm super excited. Um, so this is the first book. I read it mostly on audiobook, and I like the audiobook a lot. It's, like, at first I wasn't into her voice, but, like, I think the tone of it, like, perfectly fits the characters. Like, so, so well. And, like, the tone is very specific, and you don't get it at first. And at first, I was like, I don't like this character. But as it goes on, you just, like, fall in love with this person. Um, and, like, Raymond is such a good character. I'm going to do a review, because I have a lot of thoughts. And I loved it. And, like, oh, I just, I highly recommend it. It's just such a cute book. And it's so sweet and, like, sad, but, like, beautiful. Oh great one also I don't know if it's up for any prizes but I feel like I've heard that it is I don't know um okay and then last okay and then last I read The Glass Castle by Jeanette Walls yeah I finally did it because I kept saying that I was gonna do it on all of my TBRs and I finally did um even though I didn't do it when I actually brought it I did it at all but <laughs> still um so I, yeah, I read The Glass Castle. I really liked it. I liked it. Also, I highly recommend reading Hillbilly Elegy and then reading Glass Castle because they are really interesting together. Like, do that, please, and then tell me what you think. 
Um, yeah, so the Glass Castle, it's um, also kind of a hillbilly story, um, It's but it's from a female perspective. Um, she's growing up, her dad's an alcoholic, her mom, like, kind of doesn't care and doesn't want to, like, fix their situation. Like, they're in poverty for their entire lives, but then, or for their entire childhoods, but then they, like, the parents don't try hard enough to, like, get out of it. That's what she makes it seem like. And I feel like that's very common, at least according to Hillbilly Elegy, in that like community mentality is feeling stuck and feeling like you can't fix your situation so you don't even try um so it's just like really sad and hard and oh my god the things that happen in this book but she does it in such a beautiful way though and like once I do my, my review I'll put it up there but um yeah oh I can't wait to talk more about it um so please stay tuned for that because I loved it and I want to talk about it and I know a lot of people have read it so comment if you are pumped for that video because I am okay um so that's pretty much it I might actually film some more videos tonight because like I have some energy and I did most of my work so like maybe I'll do those reviews now so if you see some more videos of me looking like this then I did some more videos tonight um okay thank you so much for watching um i'll be back soon hopefully um yeah thanks <laughs> bye